today's March the 24th. Well, they ripped me up a little windbreak here. And a quick scan over nothing. At least I got tracks in the snow. So, hopefully something will start moving a little bit later. So it makes seven, seven shed bulls. And seven bulls with antlers. Four of the bulls with antlers were six points. Then just those two little ones, so. Seven and seven, still 50%. March 24th. March 25th to an area that I've picked up a few sheds but this year I haven't seen any bulls there but I ended up seeing I moved around a little bit but I ended up seeing six groups of cows I probably saw 200 cows okay it's the evening of the 26th so yesterday said there was like 1% chance of moisture today and then they changed it. So I was determined to come out today, but uh, what is it? It's three o'clock and that's what I'm looking at right there. I think it's gonna give me a couple of breaks here and there, but the snow just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Seems like the deeper it is, the less they move. Let's see if we can find anything. So the first bulls I saw were two bulls together. They're going up a little hill. Neither one of them had antlers. Then I saw, a, found a six point laying down. <laughs> I went over him a lot of times. When I finally picked him out, I couldn't believe I didn't see him before, but pretty nice six point, both his antlers. And then I saw one up on the top of a hill, uh, no antlers. saw two more. 
before. So it's the 27th of March. Last time I was up here, why, there was one, two, three, four, five, six points, and a little five and a little four that still had their antlers. So I'll go check on them. That's six bulls with their antlers and three without. March 27th. Evening sit, March 28th. This morning I just drove to a couple places. I did find one shed bulb. I just videoed two spikes. And Looks like those two spikes come back around where I could see them. And I got a glimpse of another bull that was with him that's a shed bull. So that's a shed bull to the left walking and a six point to the right. seen glimpses of several elk through those trees that Well, the 28th total is 12 bulls, six with antlers and six without, but that's counting two spikes. So really, you got four, and all the ones that had antlers were six points. Four six points and six shed bulls. And then there's just the two spikes. So, March 28th, I can't believe it. I don't know if just the lack of nutrition will delay, delay head drops. I would suspect that it would, but, but this is the first time I've done this. So, but that's where it's at. Okay, so the 29th, they were just hanging in the trees today because it was really windy, but it's three and three for today. It's been a really a slow day, but three with antlers, three without. I don't, I don't think the little ones shed till April. People who farm elk would probably know, but I don't, but I'm learning. Roundy up.
three different balls, two of them were shed balls, one's a little raggy five that I've seen before. April 12th, there's a six point in there.